Everybody welcome Janet Piper. I set my alarm before 30 instead of 5.30 so that I could go over, take a pill, and fall back asleep. I leave two pills on the nightstand with a glass of water every night. I can still feel the pain in my leg, my hand, when I reached over to take the drugs. The water always tasted warm and dusty. It hurt to hold the pills in my right hand. I closed my eyes at 4.32. I hated that damn alarm clock. And taking the pills early still wouldn't make the pain go away before I woke up. I, I knew that, but I took them anyway. And I tried to fall back asleep. And I dreaded 5.30 when I'd have to move. 5.40, I couldn't wait any longer. I couldn't be late and couldn't have that. So I finally swing my lips to the floor. I put out my robe and limp into the kitchen. The trip to the kitchen lasted for hours. And picking up the milk curtain from the refrigerator hurt like hell. This wasn't supposed to be happening. Not to me. Just pour the day on milk. I whip the tears to my chin and sit down for breakfast. The doctor doubled the dosage and he was amazed that I needed this much. He told me to follow the directions strictly. You can't take these in the mornings the way you have been, he'd say. You have to take them with food. But that doesn't help when I'm crying from pain in the morning. But I could get an ulcer, he'd say. And I wouldn't want that. Of course not. I just wanted the pain to go away. Take one tablet three times daily with meals. Do not drink alcohol while on medication. Take with food or milk. Do not skip medication. Do not take aspirin while using this product. Do not operate heavy machinery. May cause ulcers. An hour after the pills, I'd start to feel dizzy. I'd stare at a computer screen and it would move in, foc in, in and out of focus in circles. I wanted to grab that screen and make it stay in place. But then I'd look at my fingers and they would go in and out of focus. I I'd feel my head rocking forward and backwards. My eyes would open and close. Before I knew it, ten minutes had passed, and I remembered nothing. I, I, I could have been screaming for ten minutes straight, and I wouldn't have known it. Or, or crying, or, or sleeping, or laughing, or dying. I had just lost ten minutes of my life. They were just taken away from me, stripped away from me, and I could never get them back. And I could still feel the traces of the pain lingering in my bones. I'd sit up at night and just stare at the bottle. It was a big bottle, as if the doctors knew I'd be on these drugs forever. I'd open up a bottle, look at a pill. They looked big, too. Pink and white. What pretty colors. And then I'd think, if 50 milligrams could put me to sleep in the morning, could make me feel dizzy, could take a part of my life away from me, then think about what the, wait, how many are in this bottle? Think about what the other 36 would do. 1,800 milligrams. It could kill me. I wouldn't want that. Of course not. But just think, the bottle isn't even full. May cause ulcers, may cause dizziness, side effects may vary for each patient, may cause weight gain, may cause weight loss, may cause drowsiness, may cause irritability. Medication may have, have to be taken consistently for weeks before expected results. If effects become severe, consult physician immediately. When I feel my body start to ache again, I look at the clock. It would be five to fifteen minutes before I needed to take another pill. 